Hey, I thought this was an other research laboratory, but it looks more like a factory. What gives? And that strange smell. What is that? It's starting to make me nauseous. What in the world are they making here? Huh? Aren't those... Ampules. They're the same ones the Ceyron military dropped. Ceyron military? What are you talking about? Hmm. So the Ceyron garrison dropped an ampule like this when they took Naomi away after she turned into an other. That is a Ceyron laboratory after all, so it wouldn't be that odd for the garrison to have something from there. But you said you saw an ampule like that in your home when you were a child. Yes. I think it's connected to Randall Industries, since they had partnerships with the pharmaceutical company as well. You're talking about Spring Pharmaceuticals. That's your family's company, right, Arashi? Do you know anything about it? Yeah, it's my family's company, but unfortunately I don't know anything about this facility or the ampules. The OSF had me doing annoying promotional work. Oh well, that just means we need to scoop up any information we can now. What are you up to now? The key to intelligence gathering is to obtain information as quickly and precisely as possible. Wow, Arashi. It's like their security doesn't even exist to you. Looks like they thought they were safe enough with a closed system. I should be able to get into the root... Wait, what is this? What did you find? Share the data you have. Oh, what have we here? A valuable asset in a battle with New Himuka. An other weapon? Uh, this video. They're transplanting human brains into others. A psionic's brain is connected to an other through SAS in order to control it. How novel. Having people and others fighting together. I'd say other weapon is an apt name. What a sickening idea. However, based on the data, it doesn't look like they've completed this project. No, that's not it. It seems they haven't succeeded with ordinary others. This experiment is even more horrifying than we thought. In order to increase the compatibility with the SAS, they're using others that were... originally human. No! That's barbaric! Oh boy. Major General Karin had some terrible things to say about Nuhimuka, but I'm not sure Seiron is any better. Why did he try to hide this facility from us? Naomi... I have to find Naomi! Stop. Get yourself together. If you blow our cover now, it will all be over. <sighs> yes, you're right. Arashi, can you find out where Naomi might be? I'll get on that right now. There's a large, high-security area up ahead. Seems pretty fishy to me. Okay, let's make our way over there then. We should at least confirm her status, see if she's okay. According to the data, this is definitely a Spring Pharmaceuticals factory. They run and Spring Pharmaceuticals are working together. I've never been so ashamed to be a Spring. This is pretty good. Naomi is somewhere in this facility. I have to find her as soon as I can.
It won't open. Maybe we need another key card. Let's investigate this area, Lil. We might learn something. This is... some kind of control mechanism. Hmm... Arashi, it's your turn. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I don't mean to complain, but this is a lot of work for one door. Hold on. What the heck am I looking at here? <gasps> That's another! Isn't it? The console was a decoy! I'm getting multiple other readings, you guys! Stay on your toes! We'll take them out! Can you handle it? It's over. I saw something similar when I was going through the data. Later. 
fast. Wait, it tingles. That's gonna work. Keep your guard up. That's good. Oh no! Focus. All right. 
this way. This must be that suspicious area Arashi mentioned. It certainly is big. The air. The smell. What is this sound? Hearing it makes me feel sick. you that voice is that really you kasane we have a brain talk connection with naomi that must mean she's nearby i've confirmed a reading for naomi wait you shouldn't i'll be right there naomi you're in here back away from the door i'm breaking it down you don't have to do that. I can unlock it. No! Don't open it! <laughs> Naomi! Are you okay? they done to you, Naomi? What the hell is that? Why is Naomi another? I'm sorry, Naomi. It's because you protected me. It's okay, Kasane. I'm glad you're okay. But... It really is okay. I'm glad you're well. Yes. Thanks to you. What... What are you doing here? Hey, Naomi. We wanted to come and check to see that you were okay. It's not just that. I want to save you. Thank you. 
But I'm fine like this. There's no way I'd be able to have a life out there. I'm an other now. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, I think that's enough. You can't just keep apologizing to Naomi. She's right. And hey, right now you're both alive and breathing. Isn't that something to be happy about? Major Kyoka, I'm sorry. I'm sorry it had to happen like this. No, it's all right. How are you doing? The people here haven't hurt you, have they? I'm fine. The people here are very kind, even to an other like me. <laughs> Naomi? But when I don't take the ampules, it really hurts, and I can't... Kate? Kate? Sorry. Please, you have to go. Please forget about me. No! I was finally able to find you! Did Kasane, she's right. It's what your sister wants you to do. Naomi! So you came. <laughs> Major General Karin? Yeah, well, this isn't very surprising. Seems like you had us dancing to your tune all along. Naomi is able to maintain her personality with the medication and the ampules, but the effects are only temporary. The only way to save her is to revert her to her human state. And to do that, we need your power. Are you telling the truth? If you're trying to use my sister as an other weapon... That is simply what they tell Sauron. This facility's true purpose is to revert humans that have been metamorphosed into others back to their original state. Then tell me what I need to do! You'll need to be at full strength. I'll need some time to prepare as well. Continue exterminating others until we're ready. Bide your time. I promise you Naomi will be safe. I don't like it, but I'll go with it for now. Then go back to Ceyron and hold tight on standby. Don't do anything so rash again. Since we're ordered to stay in Ceyron, why don't we go shopping in town? Right, we should stock up and get medical supplies. Hey, you're coming too, Kasane. Huh? Oh, right. Fine. Is it me, or are we hanging out a lot? I've got a nearby resource reading.
We should treat ourselves to a day on the town to raise spirits. Yeah. We can't force it on Kasane, though. You're right. Seeing Naomi like that, even I was shaken. Stand by, huh? So, what do you want to do? We could go back to OSF headquarters. Before you do, could I have a moment of your time? Excuse me, but who are you? Please excuse my manners. I work for the Seiron government. I have come to ask you all a favor. This is a request from a group of us who do not quite see eye to eye with Travers. What are you talking about? I thought Major General Karin and the Seiron government are in this together. We have determined that Yuito Sumeragi is connected to the Kunad Gate's formation. Uh. Our experts say that the gate will bring a great disaster to the world if left alone. We propose the assassination of Yuito Sumeragi to Travers, but he has skirted the issue. After some reconsideration, we decided that we should delegate this task to the hero who assassinated Chairman Sumeragi instead. You want Kasane to assassinate Yuito? I'll do it. What? Are you serious? Do you know what you're even saying? Thank you for your cooperation. We have intel that Yuito Sumeragi is currently in Kikuchiba on assignment. I will leave the rest to you. Good day. I wasn't able to find out the identity of that man, but I was at least able to determine that he works for Seiron's Prime Minister. So the fact that this is a request from the government checks out. Are you really going to assassinate Yuito? Look, I know what this sounds like coming from me, but don't you think that's a bit much? I'm not saying what future Yuito told you isn't true. Kakuro does have a point. As of now, we only have circumstantial evidence. Nothing is really concrete. This also goes against Major General Karin's wishes. Are you still gonna go through with it? Yes. I'm going to kill Yuito. That's most likely the only solution we have. Only solution my ass? I'll make my way to Kikuchiba. What the hell? You can't just leave! I know where Yuito is, but... Kasane, do you really want to do this? It doesn't matter what I want. This is all I've got. Give me the directions. Understood. Can you handle it? If your body catches fire, it's gonna keep hurting you. Be careful. Yes, 
I need to go that way now. Yep. Well, we came here just like the guy wanted us to. Are you sure about this? Are you really going to kill Yuito? 
Either way, we couldn't just let you go by yourself. Everyone here has your back. Listen, Kasane. We'll help you fight, but it ends there. After that, each of us will act independently. Got it? There you are. Kasane? Just hold on! We can talk this over! No point. You'll be dead. Why are you trying to kill me? At least tell me the reason. Sorry. I told you I don't want to talk. Damn. If you're trying to cure you, I'll do everything to stop you. I just wanted to stay out of this. Fine. Will you please calm down, Sugumi? Kasane, if this keeps up, neither of you will come out on her. Do you really want to kill Yumito? You don't have to help me if you don't want to. Just stay out of my way. Kasane, we should attack them individually. We should nullify the other two before Yumito. Sorry. Kasane, tell me! Why did you kill my father and join Seiron? <sighs> Is it because my father was involved in metamorphosis research? Because New Himuka turned Naomi into an other? So you found out about it too. Yes, that's exactly right. We should fall back to our hideout. Uh, wait, Kasane! This is completely messed up. How can you just decide to kill Yuito like that? That day we came back from the future, you said that it wasn't going to be an easy decision yourself. Our future depends on it. Look, if that's your argument, do you actually have proof that it's all true? I'm sorry, but I just don't believe that killing Yuito is the answer to solving everything. Besides, 
It seems pretty extreme to kill both the father and the son. What exactly is your reasoning behind all this? If you can justify killing Yuito, then I'm all ears. There's no point trying to explain. That's for us to decide! What? I've been wanting to tell you this for a while now, Kasane, but you are way too selfish. You make quick decisions and determine what needs to be done. Even when you lose your cool, you're able to compose yourself. I really respect those qualities. Yeah, I said it, I respect you. That's why I was able to accept you as my leader. But no, not this time. Why should you kill Yuito? Don't expect any help from me until you can give me a good, valid reason. That... but... Whoa there, Shiden. I think that's enough. Ah, oh, the youth are so passionate. I like it. It looks like your passion got to her. Continuing to harp on her like that isn't going to get us answers. Listen, Kasane. We have no idea what kind of things you're bottling up inside. We don't know the weight of it, or whether it's painful or not. The only thing we know right now is simply what happened to Naomi. Saying that an explanation would be pointless means you have something you should say. Lucky for you, there are four open-minded people here ready to listen. I'm pretty sure there are different perspectives you can consider as well. Tell us. We deserve to hear it. Yes, we're all on the same team here. I'm sorry. So you're really not gonna tell us? N no I just wasn't sure how to explain it, so I'm sorry I said it'd be pointless to tell you. Well, if that was the case, then you should have said something. I I'm sorry. Oh, this apology is for making you jump to conclusions, so... Yeah, I think I got that. Hey, Sheedan, come on. Let's try to relax a little, okay? It's great you're invested, and that's cool and all, but it's also lame at the same time. Shut up! Anyway, if you're gonna tell us, then tell us already. Uh, okay. The first reason is what I felt at Kunod Gate. I felt something like the power of the red strings coming from it. The time portal that should be disappearing lingers because of Yuito's power. That's what made me believe what future Yuito said. The second reason is because of what Karin said. He knows that we went to the future. He does? Arashi, you were eavesdropping so you can confirm. Yeah. From what was said in the future, I knew there was a good chance that Karin was involved in some way or another. He's at least aware that a time-traveling power exists and has accepted it. The third reason is that the Seiron official said Yuito was involved. I see. So for you, all your suspicions leading up to now were confirmed? Yes. I mean, they're all just circumstantial, but it's all I have. I'm sorry. You're apologizing for the wrong thing again. What we wanted was a fair explanation, and you provided one. You don't need to apologize for that. And it's thanks to your explanation, we came to understand exactly why you made your decision. Yeah, I can see where you're coming from now, but I still have a question. Why didn't you discuss all this with us? I told you. I didn't have any definite proof, and I didn't think you'd believe me. But I did. And everyone else here, too. Some of it I'm still not convinced about, but I don't think all of it's a lie. It's proof that your way of thinking is wrong. That's why we should talk from now on. We have each other's backs here. That's what makes us a team. I'm sorry. There you go again. Huh? There's a different phrase you should be saying right now. That's right. If you want to build trustful relationships, an apology isn't what's needed right now. Oh. Um. Thank you. Everyone. It might be good to talk to Arashi. Kasane, good. Do you mind if I butt in? Haruka, you were listening? Yeah, 
I agree with everyone, so I want you to know you can always talk to me. Kasane? Gemma, did you read my message? I came to talk to you. It seems like you still feel responsible for what happened to Naomi. It isn't your fault she turned into another. There's no point in you blaming yourself. You came all this way just to say that? Well, you felt guilty enough to come all the way here. <sighs> You're right. It's probably presumptuous of me to think it was all my fault. Still... I can't forget what happened to her. It's sad to think this is how I behave after the decades I've fought. I don't think it's sad, just surprising. I thought your experience would allow you to cope better than this. That's what I thought. You don't have time to falter when a friend dies in battle. Our role as members of the OSF is to bottle up our feelings no matter what happens, and fight until the last other is killed. But you haven't been able to control your emotions. Do you have any idea why? I must be at my limit. I've lost too many friends. Friends of many years and rookies like Naomi. While everyone else lost their lives, I'm left standing here. My retirement drawing closer. You make it sound like it's bad that you're alive. I feel guilty. The young people with promising futures die. Well, someone like me with not many years left is allowed to live. That's why I was so committed to protecting the young members. I know that you wanted to protect Naomi. However, there's no point in regretting the past that way. You're better off focusing on what needs to be done right here and now. I know that. Gamma, behind you! <laughs> Good reaction. The enemy was just weak. I can still fight for now. What do you mean, for now? I'm old. I'll have to retire soon. When I retire, they'll stop administering the anti-aging drug. My body will begin to grow old, and my power will gradually diminish. As someone who's had to rely on my power for decades to survive in battle, I'm a little worried about its strength diminishing. I do remember reading something about that. It might be the distant future for you, but it's just around the corner for me. Many retired soldiers have a hard time adjusting to civilian life after being in the OSF for so long. There are those who have nowhere else to go after society throws them out. No family or friends to rely on. Are you saying you'll be one of them? Yeah, I spent most of my life in the OSF. I can't do much other than fight. How is someone like that supposed to live outside the military? I'm ashamed to say that I'm afraid of that day coming. If I have to live on carrying these feelings for my fallen comrades, then I think I'd rather die in battle. I'm sorry. That was a stupid thing to say. I don't understand. If you're serious about wanting to die, then I misjudged you. You say that you're the only one left alive, but it's not like you've survived this long on your own. Even my sister was worried about your health. And you just roll over and die? That's so selfish. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. I'm leaving. Goodbye. <sighs> what is he thinking? Naomi was so concerned about him. It's not like I haven't thought about giving up my own life if it could help save her. But that would only make her sad. I thought he would have figured that out.
Viewers, friends. I've never wanted friends before, but there's a limit to what I can do or think of by myself. I'll try to rely on other people a little more.